Ringwalk Danny Boxingboys.com here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena with Jason and Andrew Maloney. First of all, Jason, congratulations. Uh, become a world champion. Stockton, California. Just talk to us about uh, the journey and finally, you know, achieving that dream. Yeah, I did achieve my lifelong dream. Something that not many people get to do. Um, 20 years of boxing, three attempts at becoming world champion, and yeah, finally got my hand raised and got that world title around my waist. So yeah, it's the best best feeling I've ever felt. Um, and yeah, just the proudest moment of my life. Andrew, I gotta ask, not, because now uh, you're on the big stage this weekend here in Vegas. How's that feel? Because, uh, you know, it's great anywhere you know, the bubble, it doesn't really matter where you become world champion, I feel like. But you're in the epicenter. So many great historic fights have took place on these very grounds. What's that mean to you? Oh, it's unbelievable. As you said, like, the dream was always to become world champion. Secondly, for us both to do it at the same time. And then just to, you know, icing on the cake, cherry on top, to do it at the MGM Grand on the Lomachenko Haney card, one of the biggest cards of the year one week after my brother it just couldn't be any more special so just so excited and that's all this extra motivation to make sure i get the job done on saturday night now we've seen uh plenty of siblings in boxing and i'm an advocate for siblings should not fight on the same car i feel like it's too much pressure you know, I remember when uh, Jermel Charlo, when he lost and his brother's just in the locker room watching him as lose as he's getting his hands wrapped to go to battle. And it's just like, I think that it's too much pressure. But now knowing that your brother has became world champion, is it almost more pressure? Uh, because now it's your turn to uh, finish the dream and, and accomplish, you know, your, your dream of becoming champ. Yeah, I don't feel like it's more pressure. I feel like... If anything, it's just put such a positive environment among, you know, amongst the team and positive energy. And I feel like this is our time. This is this is destiny. This is how our story was supposed to unfold. And I'm on a high right now from his win. And I just, I really feel this is my time. Take me back. Take me back to last Saturday because, uh, you know, you you talk about it. It's uh, Thursday now. You said you're still on a high. Five days later, just as a brother. Being on the journey together, what did it mean to you to hear your brother's name announced, uh, not just in the arena, but across the world as the new world champion? Uh, it was unbelievable. I've, we've done this side by side for 20 years. I, I know what he's been through. There's been so many, you know, there's a lot of highs, but a lot of lows as well. It's been a, it's a long, hard road, and um, I knew how much it meant to him, especially after two failed attempts at the world title. And, Possibly his last attempt last weekend, and just so proud he got the job done, and he, he deserves it. So just so happy for him, and just giving me even more motivation for this weekend to, to finish this story and make sure we go home with two world titles. Now, I know you guys made the trip from down under, started, ca started camp out there, uh, finished it in Vegas. You brought your sparring with you to Vegas. Um, the work, the work has been put in at this point. Uh, Jason, I just want to know, what are you telling your brother, you know, as his fight comes near and his fight approaches? What are those conversations uh, been like these last four or five days? Oh, well, I'm just here to do whatever I can to help him. Um, yeah, he's had a great preparation. All the hard work's done. Um, I've seen how good he's looked, and I've got complete, complete faith that he's going to go out there and beat this guy. So... I'm just, yeah, just here to do whatever I can to help support him. But uh, he knows what he needs to do. And uh, I'll just be by his side to make sure he gets the job done. Now, I wanted to ask, uh, because we've seen you both in Vegas now. Uh, curious, what benefits of coming over for camp did you guys find? And uh, how did it benefit the preparation for this one? Yeah, we love coming out to Las Vegas and training out here. Um, it's a great environment. We love training at the top rank gym. We love the weather out here. We always bring good sparring partners out. And um, yeah, it's just a great preparation. I guess we know we're complete professionals, so we don't have too much distractions back home in Australia, but it's good to get away uh, and just knuckle down and just know that you're here for business. Well, Jason, congratulations once again. Andrew, wish you the best Saturday. Before I let you guys uh, both go, Last year, you got the opportunity to fight in your home country in front of big crowds. Obviously, uh, 
Haney and Cambosis happening twice out there. Just want your thoughts. How do you see the main event, the big one, play out? Undisputed, all the belts on the line, a lightweight division. How do you see it play out? Vasil Lomachenko, Devin Haney. I think it's going to be a very close fight. A lot more competitive than most people probably have it. Um, but I think... Just got the edge to Haney at the moment, just because younger, bigger, and seems to be getting better and better since he's become world champion. So I'm going with this, a points decision to Haney, but I think it's going to be a great fight. Both the subs, Andrew. I've got it the exact same way. Same way. Um, yeah, and I think a big factor too is that Devin's been very active lately. Lomachek has been a little bit inactive and obviously some disturbances back home. So I think that might play a factor in the activity level. Uh, Devin will give him an edge and I think he's going to just win by a couple of rounds. Well, gentlemen, thank you both. And I cannot wait for Saturday night. Hopefully we see the two brothers uh, go back down under with those straps. Thank you, guys. Family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.